little one, but it's the first one of 2022. There you go. Look at that, it's hooked right on the edge there. It may be small, but you know, I enjoy catching it. So this is uh, fish number two. Got to be a fish on there. Yes. Same bait, same place. Got to look. <laughs> How easy was that unhook? Fish number three in about an hour. So there's quite a lot of small ones in this corner. So I'm over on the uh, Pike Lake number two now. And uh, I've got one first cast. Hope I catch a few more of these. And another one. Now this one took a dead bait. A popped up piece of uh, lamprey, little section of lamprey. Popped up lamprey seems to be doing the jo uh, job today. And this is, this is easily the best one of the day. Suddenly the line tightened up, float was gone. And this right old warrior was on the end. As soon as I got here, it started pouring with rain. So I've got my waterproofs on and uh, I'm gonna sit it out for a few hours hoping for a, for a pike. First cast out within about five or 10 minutes. Just putting my waterproofs on and had this one. Another nice fish on a dead bait. I think it's a head section of a sprat. And another one to the dead bait. You know, a little uh, packet of sprats, four sprats that I uh, bought on the way down here today, certainly paid off. There's pike striking in the area, so I felt hopeful, but uh, didn't expect to get one this quick on the dead bait. Which you might be able to see just down here. There. That's the rig that I called it on. It's in better days, poor old thing, so let's quickly get him back. Ending on a high. Not far short of double figures this one. And the last one of the winter. Uh, it's been a, an absolutely wonderful um, winter for pike again. You know, I've really thoroughly enjoyed myself. Caught loads and loads and loads of pike, but still can't quite get that PB. Next year, next winter I'm, I'm going to join uh, a couple of new clubs so hopefully next winter we'll see me get that PB. Not a monster, but it's my first river pike. Well, there we go, there's the first one of the day. This one took a smelt right in the margin. Well, about that, straight on the recast, on the close in rod, right under the tree, it, went, it literally went straight away. And I've had this beauty. How about that? Day's complete already. Another one bites the dust. They're really going for it this morning. Well, I've moved over onto Pike Pit One uh, for the afternoon, and I'm straight onto the fish. So there you go. Nice double pickup pike. What about that one then? New PB, finally. Oh, I caught a 14 pound pike in about 1982, and we're now in 2022. So you work that out. It's been a long time coming this PB, but here it is. That's the price you pay. Oh, that's, that's giving me a right old gash that has. Ask me if it was worth it. Of course it was. It's a heel. Oh, it's been a while coming this morning. Pop up mackerel. So that's a good sign because I've got about 40 or 50 mackerel in my freezer. So I've got plenty of bait. Right, just sat up there. Right?
beauty. Don't stop. And again. Right, I just sucked it out and uh, we'll have a look at it. But it looks a really nice clean fish so I'm, I'm quite excited to get this one. It's another cracking fish. I mean, I thought the, my best day's pipe fishing was last week, but I've gone and eclipsed it this week. But it's another good fish, uh, 13 and a quarter this one is, and another different fish. So I'm really getting amongst these decent double figure pike now. And the bait hadn't been out there for probably a quarter of an hour. And I've just had one. It's another double figure fish. <laughs> There you go, made my day, lovely fish. Two fish in a quarter of an hour, can't be bad. Just packing up, just packed the camera up and everything, just about to wind in and the float went on the uh, head section of a mackerel. And I had a crazy battle with this thing, it just wouldn't give up this one. I can't keep up with this. Literally, I just put a, a new bait on, flicked it back out there. I just put the net back down in the swim. I was just about to tidy up the, uh, the cameras and everything. And the float's gone. And here's another one. Going crazy here today. This, this is uh, pipe number six. I haven't weighed it yet, I reckon. Pushing double figures. Let's get the rods out and see what we can get. First cast, I reckon the fish was attracted to the splash. First cast, splosh, and the float started bobbing straight away. And it's my old mate, my PB. Another one already. Uh, not quite a double this one, I don't think. He's probably, I reckon he's about eight, eight and a half, nine, something like that. Yes, I hope you saw that. Right on last knockings, you know, just about thinking about packing up. It's about up past three now. And uh, one of the floats was away. Could it be a new PB? I don't know, it looks, it looks a wide fish. Well, folks, you're not gonna believe it. Here's my new PB. <laughs> right on last knockings, it's about up past three now lights fading and so i hope you can see this but uh this is my new pb the other ass at work so she said why don't you go fishing so here i am well mate you know i mean this was my pb a few weeks back second fish of the day here uh, only a small one this one eight pounder uh, thought i'd show him for the camera It's my PB again. And another one from under the tree. Another reasonably small one, probably. Eight pounder, this one I would have thought. Cracking fish. Lovely tail pattern on it. Look at that beautiful tail pattern there. Really nice one, and now I really have got to pack, pack up after an absolutely brilliant day. So cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. Well, there we go. Finally managed to land one on my fourth chance. How about that for a cracking brand new looking fish? The right contrast to the last one, which was a quite raggedy old looking thing. This one's a beautiful coloured one. Tail. Well, morning everyone. So we're fishing in minus three, minus four degrees temperatures. <laughs> Got to be crazy. Well, you can't say I'm not trying. Success. How about that? On a snowy, freezing cold, minus three degrees up the river. And look at that. That's where you park the car. Completely underwater. 
There's the bridge. It's almost over the top of the bridge. And all that, that's usually dry field. That's all the fields, that is. Very long, slim fish. But it saved a blank for me. And it's another double figure pike. It's uh, looking like a, a fresh new start for the new year. That's what I, I feel feels coming on. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.